What is going on my friends, Anatoly from Define Agile here. We're back to our Jira tutorials. This one is for true beginners, so if you haven't used Jira a lot, this would be exactly for you. Uh, we're gonna see how we can create epics in Jira. I have a video on what are epics in Jira. I will put the link down below to it so you can take a look. But uh, right now, let's see how we can create epics in Jira very quickly it's very very easy so just follow me so guys here I have my uh, project it can be any project Kanban project scram project it doesn't really matter creating epics epics is an issue type so whenever you want to create an issue type you add it the same as you add a bug or a story so I just click plus and here I have my create an issue so Epic is a type of issue. Very important to know. If you know that, things become really easy. So uh, I click on my issue type and I have bug, task, story, and epic. I click on epic. I need to give an epic name. Epic name it will appear very, very often. So make sure it uh, makes total sense for you. So we'll create a marketing site could be our epic. So we'll uh, group all our stories by this epic that's called marketing site. Summary is something for us to know what it is. So again, I'll put marketing site and description, ongoing work on our marketing site. This will be an example. Then we click on create. Importantly, you see that epic MTS7 was created, but you don't see it in the backlog because epics don't usually appear on the backlogs. Epics allows us to group stuff. Uh, this is a special issue type. So if, if I want to use my epic, I go to a story, for example. And if I scroll down, I have show five more fields. I click on that and there's an epic link. So if I click on the epic link, it will show me all my epics. And the first one is marketing site. I click on the marketing site, boom. So what happened? It appeared in the actual issue. It appeared in the backlog. So now it's easy to see issues related to marketing site. This is the power of Apex. Make sure you don't overdo it. Make sure you don't have a lot of them because then it becomes really, really messy. Make sure you have structure. That's all I want to talk about today. Very short, very easy how to create an Epic and how to assign an Epic. If you have any questions about it, please put them in the comments down below. If you're still confused, please put your questions down below. If you like what you see, please like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm releasing those free videos every week for you to learn about Jira. If you are maybe too lazy or too busy to learn Jira and you need someone to set stuff up for you or to maintain your Jira, please go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation. Let's see how I can help your business. It was not only from Define Agile. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.